you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got Great Admiral Thrawn. Um, yeah, not too long after the Black Series 1 was released, the, uh, the, the, the continuing onslaught of Quarter 4 of Hasbro action figures is upon us. It, or it continues, I'm sorry. But yeah, the live action Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Ahsoka series. Looking awesome. I've been excited about this one. The uh, TVC, the Black Series one was fantastic. And this one looks like it's going to hold up pretty darn well on its own as well. Yeah, it looks good. So yeah, VC337. Little right up there, and a picture of exactly what this is. <laughs> All the garbage, other garbage on the back. Yeah, always nice to see uh, the Grand Admiral on a vintage car. This is his second uh, version in the vintage collection. We did have a Rebels version. Um, but yeah, we're talking about this one, so let's do that and bust it open. All right, guys, here is everyone's favorite blue boy. Unless you like Max Rebo more, then that's that's fine. That's acceptable. Max Rebo is pretty good. Here is the Grand Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> and there was the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, yeah, it comes with his little blaster pistol, which is very teeny tiny. It will slot nicely in his holster there. So yeah, I... I believe most of this figure does reuse parts from the uh, previous iteration of Grand Admiral Thrawn, the Rebels version. Um, obviously with the new the new head, slightly different colours of the hands. This is a little bit more of a richer blue. I don't have the other one at hand at the minute to compare, but I don't know. He looks pretty damn good to me for... You know, the three and three quarter. I'm excited about having this one. Especially having him set up with the uh, with Enoch and the Night Troopers. I think he'll look really good on the shelf. I've got uh, Morgan Elspeth and a couple of HK droids. So yeah, we're just, just sort of hanging out for uh, Granddaddy Thrawn to show up. And he's looking pretty damn nice. Nice clean paint apps, which is what you want. Got the uh, the nice little gold touches on the epaulets. Yeah, they did that the same thing with the uh, the black series one. Just didn't quite hit the edges there, but that's all right. His rank insignia there, nicely cleanly painted. Looks good. The belt looks solid. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of black scuffing there, but whatever. It's going to happen. And he's got a couple of pockets full of change there. And nice black boots. Yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? Grand Admiral Thrawn, finally. Vintage Collection, three three quarter, live action. So good, so good. Excited to see what happens with Grand Admiral Thrawn in the future. Really looking forward to it. But yeah, nice, nice clean looking figure, which is great. Articulation-wise, he's got the double ball, double ball joint in the head. He's got the ball hinges in the shoulders, in the elbows, and the wrists as well. And in and out on the left wrist and an up and down on the right. He has the torso joint down the bottom there. He's got the ball, ball and socket in the hips. He's got the swivels at the top of the thighs. Ball hinges in the knees. Ball hinges in the ankles as well. And the rocker in the foot. For those super duper action thrawn poses you want to do. 
But of course, I think the best way to pose th pose Thrawn is to just, you know, just the observationist he is. His mind is his greatest weapon. Have him standing there with hands behind the hips. Let's chuck him on a KR stand. Nicely looking good in black. Previously just had white, but yeah, we decided to uh, add a little bit more. It's not the most snug fit in the foot there, but I mean, you can, just due to these being 3D printed, you can shave a couple of layers off the top of the stand just to get that on there a little bit more. There we have him, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Yeah, he's a nice, simple action figure. It's not not a long review here today. Just he's a blue dude in a white suit, and he has one little accessory. So nice, easy one to uh, for your viewing pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this guy. If you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. That would be freaking cool as all hell. But yeah, next up we're going to be taking a look at Ahsoka, so stay tuned for that one. The Peridia. Ahsoka, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy this one. We'll see you again very soon for some more Star Wars reviews. Until then, may the Force be with you always.